In Investing 101 today, Matt Shapiro, president of MWS Capital, joins me to take a look at the difference between ETFs, mutual funds, and stock investing. So this is a great topic, Matt. Wonderful to have you here. Thanks so much, Angie. Let's start with an ETF. An ETF is a basket of stocks. It's one sector or one brand that you want to get into, but it will tend to cover a number of stocks within that ETF umbrella. Correct. ETFs, now the fashion of the day in investing. So ETFs have really swept the investing landscape, but of course, investors now have added complexity along with that. Right. So what's the upside of investing in an ETF? The upside is at least what the ETF industry tells you is they have low cost and highly defined exposures to parts of the market. That's great, but there's also some downsides with the ETFs. Which is? Well, they're very volatile. What happens is advisors get into all sorts of highly defined ETFs and actually the cost to transact on those in terms of the spread and ask, the bid and ask on them can be actually pretty high. So when you want to get out of a narrow ETF, it's actually sometimes more costly than just a plain vanilla mutual fund. To get something out of it. Correct. And into it. So something you need to think about. Let's move on to mutual funds. We see a lot of mutual funds out there. Right. The bread and butter of the industry, active management. What do you think about that? Kind of been a bad word. Ironically, not necessarily true nowadays. Most mutual funds, even the big actively managed ones, have expense ratios around 50 basis points. Whereas an ETF, a, a, a narrowly defined ETF, might have a, a management fee comparable to that. And when you add the transaction costs getting in and out of the market in an ETF, it's actually comparable. And with those large actively managed mutual funds, oftentimes you really have a highly skilled manager um, that's really well regarded in the industry making some intelligent choices for the investments for you. Mutual funds, are those as volatile as ETFs or steadier? They tend to be steadier because the ETFs have a hard edge towards the market during the day. They're flying around in your portfolio, whereas a mutual fund, you tend to pay the active manager, if it's a you know a traditional active manage, uh, mutual fund, to have somewhat less volatility, somewhat less exposure to the market, a lower beta. He's trying to do his job and reduce risk. So again, active managed mutual funds can be a very important part of your portfolio. And then there's just simple stock buying, buying a stock, stocks that you like, hopefully. Stocks yeah. that'll hopefully do well in the stock market. Great idea. And all it takes is a little knowledge, a little investing on your part. And think about any major large blue chip company is in a sense its own fund. It's got 100,000 people working every day to do their own segment in the market, whether it's making smartphones, making automobiles, or making glue or plastics. So you, in a sense, have your own fund working together. So seven to eight to nine to 25 stocks that you like that are large companies that pay dividends can be your own mutual fund and give you your own returns without all the headaches of ETFs or the expenses of active management. You just have to decide what's best for you. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Angie. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.